this is flipping a, this is maybe one of my favorite clips so far that i've ever seen on the front of the kids sub so somebody did the flipping did a, all of us a favor and watched the bradley martin and brendan shaw interview in full and made notes i watched in the background i didn't have notes i didn't prepare and put clips together and shit so slapping the wrist for me but someone on the front of the kids subreddit did right and they put a clip together this is the clip right on the final case, it says Brendan claims he was going to be the host of Fear Factor reboot and he gave it to Ludacris. <laughs> Hope Ludacris thanked him, right? Play, let's play this clip so you can hear this. This might be one of the most craziest Brendan Shaw lies I've ever heard in my entire flipping life. I swear to God. Just imagine the kind of person that you'd have to be to lie about this on the spot like that. You know what I mean? This is insane. Let's play this. Fucking like no, Some people animal. don't even know he does stand up comedy. Some people think he's just a host from Fear Factor. Dude, what a legend. Dude, like, oh, the guy from Fear Factor, it's like, what? what? That was 15 years ago. Yeah, I'll never forget that. I'll never forget Fear Factor. Oh, I love it. They oh, tried redoing it. I actually auditioned for the host, but it's down to me and Ludacris. Dude, they would have, you would have got so much hate for that. <laughs> really? Oh, dude. that's, I pulled myself out. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't think I'd get it. And when they asked me, it was like, it's down to you. I'm like, told my agent, I'm like, this is a bad look, man. Yeah, they and were. I'm gonna... already close with Joe now. I'm the host of it. <laughs> Bro, they would have fucking. Ro they would have been like, "Oh, really, Brandon? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Fucking no. Trust me, I, tr I, I saw that hate wave coming. I'm like, I'm. Out. Can you believe that he made up that lie? He said that he was in next in line to be the host of the Fear Factor reboot, and it was down to him and fucking Ludacris. Can you believe that fucking lie that he made up on the spot? They're having a conversation, I think, previously about Joe. I'm assuming. And how some people don't know Joe's the comedian and stuff. And, you know, because these guys, especially if you're Brendan and you fucking look up to Joe more than you look up to your dad, right? You fucking love Joe Rogan. He obviously assumes that everybody must know everything about Joe. And some people don't give a fuck about the guy and only know him for his podcast. That's how it probably should be, right? The whole reason why you do what you do, having a million stuff going on at the same time is that so you have different so you have different audiences. One audience might know you for your live streams, but one audience might know you for your gaming stuff, or might not know you for your comedy, whatever. It's quite nice to have that separation. It's quite a, I think it's actually a good thing. It's actually a strength. But I guess in Brendan's head, if you make content, everyone should know who you are. So in his head, he he I think it was that George guy didn't know that Joe did stand up. So he was flipping shocked at it. So he's obviously talking about that. And in this conversation where it's quite, you know, it's a nice loose conversation about Joe and his career and stuff. He somehow gets the feeling, the urge to just insert himself into it and want to be the kind of hero of this story. And look, and hey, hey, look how amazing I am. And just unprovoked, really. Think about it. This is unprovoked. No one told him anything. No one suggested anything. He wasn't prompted. He decided unprovoked to offer up this information because he wanted to seem awesome. This is a joke done on the fly. Sorry, a lie on the fly. This is really scary that someone can lie like this. Let's play it one more time. It's a fucking like. You know, some people animal. don't even know he does stand up comedy. Some people think he's just a host from Fear Factor. Fuck, dude, what a legend! Dude, like, oh, the guy from Fear Factor. It's like, what? What? That was fifteen years ago. Yeah, I'll never forget that. I'll never forget Fear Factor. Oh, I love it. They Fuck. tried redoing it. I actually auditioned for the host, but it's down. Now, see, I think if I'm gonna be fair to the guy, I think there is some truth to this. He probably did audition for the host of the new fear factor i don't think the other stuff is real it's true no way so i'm gonna say most likely the truth part of it, the truthful part about this is that he did audition to be the new host of fear factor because of how much he fucking loves joe rogan right he named his kid after fucking rogan essentially i think so right call him one kid boston when he's got no connection to boston whatsoever he you know he always talks about the state he sells out the most tickets in is flipping texas so why not call your kid fucking austin or dallas or something why call the kid boston obviously rogan's famous for being born in boston and coming up in that scene and how hard it was blah blah blah, blah. so my feeling is that he probably named his kid after after, after rogan if that's the case he's also probably going to be the same type of dude who's going to want to follow in rogan's footsteps right he's gonna want to be the next rogan that's what he kind of said one time before he's gonna you know he kind of wants to uh, oh you know um overtake what rogan's done and what not bloody blah, blah 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 so i have a feeling that he purposely did try to audition for the flipping fear factor role because he wanted to follow rogan's flipping example right follow his lead but all the rest of the story is complete lies that's my theory so the start of it's true but i think like a good pathological liar brendan then had to up the ante it wasn't enough that he just auditioned for the thing and didn't get it because 
a decent human would be like, you know what, I auditioned for the role of Fear Factor because I was super hell bent on trying to be the next Rogan. But then I quickly realized how much of a beast that job was. And I'm kind of lucky that I didn't get it. And obviously, you know, it's between me and Ludacris. Who they're going to pick? Of course they're going to pick fucking Ludacris. You know what I mean? Like something like that, right? But he doesn't. He puts it, he puts himself as a fucking hero, as a fucking. And then as well, think about it when I play this clip, right? Bradley gives him an out. Bradley Martin gives him an out and I fucking hate him for that. He gave him an out because he's the one that says to him, oh, you would have got so much hate for that dude. And then Brendan, in, the, in an attempt to try and be self-aware, he then shows, yeah, I knew, I knew. Brother, you've never known. He's never known why people don't like him. He's never known why, you know, people out there maybe aren't fans of him and whatever maybe. He's never been accept He's never been accepting of why they don't like him. So I don't think that self-awareness exists. So he kind of had to, you know, he did it quite well, to be fair. He he kind of improvised on the spot. He jumped at the opportunity to kind of be self-deprecating and kind of show a bit of humility and show a bit of self-awareness. Oh my God, I knew I was going to get hate and stuff. That's why I pulled out of it. But then he then added another layer of the lie by saying he's the one that said, I don't want it. Essentially, he's the one that gave it to Ludacris. Imagine who Ludacris was when that reboot what must have happened. Maybe this was, might have been what, Fast and Furious five times or something. That's what he's saying. Just imagine how insane that lie is that somehow he, his profile was at the level that would suggest that he would get down to the last two of a host of such a show. Imagine all the amount of people that are going to be auditioning for that show in LA, right? Hosts all over the place. And he was the one they wanted to pick until the end. And then he's the one that pulled away and essentially handed it to fucking Ludacris. The same way that he's the one that gave Ero Hawani his big chance to go and do the flipping coverage for Showtime. <laughs> this guy is incredible. Let's just play it. Let's go again. One more time. One more time. This is one of the best lies I've ever heard Brendan tell. I swear to God, this is an impeccable lie. Yeah, Fear Factor. Oh, love it. They tried love. redoing it. I actually auditioned for the host, but it's down to me and Ludacris. Dude, they would have... You would have got so much hate for that. Really? Dude. Oh, that's I pulled myself out. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't think I'd get it. And when they asked me, it was like, it's down to you. I'm like, told my agent, I'm like, this is a bad look, man. Yeah, they like, were I'm gonna... already close with Joe now. I'm the host of that. Bro, they would have fucking, ru they would have been like, oh, really, Brandon? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Fuck it. No, trust me. I, tr I, I saw that hate wave coming. I'm like, no, he didn't. That's a brilliant lie. Legitimately one of the most brilliant lies I've ever seen in my life. But I hate Bradley for giving him that out. Because Bradley gave him the out by saying, yeah, you would have got all that hate. And then he quickly jumped in the, yeah, man, I knew. That's why I didn't do it. It's like, no, you didn't. Come on, man. So, again, to be fair to the guy, I think the the first part of the story is true. He probably did audition for it because he loves Rogan so much. And he suck, you know, sucks him off at every given opportunity. I'm sure he did audition for the role to be the new host of Fear Factor Reboot. But the rest of the story is a complete fabrication. What do you guys think in the chat? That's what I think, anyway. 730 says... Um, what happened to Fear? What happened to Fear Factor Reboot? Where's Luda exactly? We don't know. AZ is right. Says Star Lux. This dude is late on the mullet tip, for sure. Um, as as Sada sees, has pulled himself out. Thank thank be thank him exactly. <laughs> pulled himself out. Thank him exactly. <laughs> David Guerra said, "Did Baba pay the one thousand ten thousand yet? Probably not. I'm gonna play that next." Seven Day says, "Why would they even ever get him for the role for the Rogan appearances? Exactly. It doesn't make any sense." It, nothing about it makes sense because we've seen what he's like on tv reading prompts just being a host he's crap at it even on his own pods he's not really good at it personally I've, I've always my kind of you know theory is that the golden hour would be improved a lot more if he kind of played the role as a person that just sets things up instead of just sitting in the middle and trying to be the host leading the show if he just let eric and chris kind of riff and then kind of, you know, interjected here and there with his dumb takes, I think that shit will be a lot better. But because he wants to try and hang and be there with them and be the host, it kind of sucks all the energy out of the room because he's just sat there kind of trying to parrot everybody's jokes and stuff. Um, so he's not he's not a good host. Even on pods, he's not a good host. So imagine him trying to be a presenter. Like, come on, bro. That's not happening. Um, pulled out like he... Uh, Pug that does his oh gee I can't come on I see as sad I see I can't read that <laughs> and then he did super jealous says Bradley and Bapa flirting B yeah it was it was honestly one of the best appearances he's done in a while I feel like um Brendan did come across really well on it but again like I said he's on his best behavior he wanted to impress his new friend so that's fair um Gamebridge footballer said he can't read true Logos Cartel says what are you talking about B I don't really know I just go Golden Hour sucks but at least I got this new gold jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that gold jacket that was meant to be for fans only 
Patreon fans only. They couldn't sell any, then they put it up on the main website. Oh, that's got to hurt, man. Yeah, big up my guy, Rodeo Britto. I see you there in the chat as well. Big up you. Hope you're good, my friend. If you want to hurt me, God on, brother. He's so performative, whoever he's in front of. Exactly. 730. It's all just a big fucking game, man. But, um... <laughs> i don't know i just love it i guess because i can't lie like that i'm really impressed when i see people lie like that you know my ability to lie like that is very very bad i've not got the capacity to just on the fucking fly make up an incredible lie to paint myself out to be the fucking hero of my own movie but this brendan guy has a real talent to just on the spot like just lie it's just really uncanny it really is there's that one pod where he's on i think it's busting with the boys where he just mentions out of the blue that he's got um a board of directors at Thick Boy, right? He's on his bus with the boys chat. They're talking to him about something. And he just mentions out of the blue without, without being prompted, without being suggested. Like he just wants to impress these guys. And he mentions, oh yeah, we've got a board of directors at Thick Boy. Board of directors. And then they grill him a bit more. And he's like, yeah, I ask them for advice. They give me input on business. I'm like, oh my God, that's almost impressive. A board of directors. <laughs> what like business fucking imp what <laughs> for a youtube channel <laughs> honestly it was legitimately what i find that so impressive i find it because really, i don't know i just find that bitch do that so impressive i don't know maybe because i just can't lie like that and i wish i could so again it's more of that kind of you know seeing things of people that you wish you had yourself but god almighty mate what an incredible guy mate honestly <laughs> board of directors for thick boy <laughs> for food truck diaries imagine for food truck diaries huh? for golden hour <laughs> for tfk what advice <laughs> business advice read your ads at 20 minutes not at 30 minutes <laughs> end the show at one hour 20 not one hour 18 like what the fuck anyway let's move on